Conoclinium coelastinum, or the mist flower. So named, because if you look at a bunch of them together, it kind of looks like a mist. And it does. It's really pretty. Um, okay, so what we're going to look at today is what mist flower looks like coming up in the springtime. So maybe you know kind of where you planted one, <laughs> but you're not really sure. And so this will help you know um, what you're looking for. So here are the stats on this plant so we can make sure that we're actually even talking about the same plant. And I'll draw your attention to the leaves because this is what you'll be looking for as it comes up in the springtime, right? So they're triangle-ish uh, in shape, uh, heavy on the ish. <laughs> and um, they have little serrated edges or like little teeth along the edges, but they're blunt. And then there is a noticeable network of veins in the leaves. Uh, they're very textured to my eyeballs. So again, uh, we're going to look here at what an established mist flower looks like coming up in the springtime. So this is not a seedling. So a seedling is when you plant a seed and then you're waiting for it to come up for the very first time. Uh, I have a different video on what that looks like, so I'll give you a link to that. This video is looking at what an already established mist flower looks like uh, when she comes out. So here we are uh, in late spring. For me, that's early May. Uh, so whatever late spring is for you, that's when you'll start to see her. And these are about a quarter to a half inch tall right now. Uh, you could see my finger in there for a second for size reference. Um, and so you can see these leaves are kind of triangle shaped, right? And the edges have little ridges or teeth on them, but it's kind of blunt. Um, and you can see the network of veins <laughs> in there. Um, it's not, it doesn't look super smooth to me. It looks like there's a lot of action going on on top. And so the location where I have my mist flowers, I have them in a few places. Uh, all of them are shade. Sometimes it's bright shade, but it's shade no less. So I know many people say it has to be in full or partial sun, uh, but I have had great success in the shade. So here we are, uh, still late spring in mid-May. So this is about 10 days from the last video. And I have written down that they're all one or two inches tall. And so again, you can still see the triangle-ish uh, leaf shape, the little serrated or toothed edges, but it's not super sharp. They're kind of blunt. And then they're textured, or you can kind of see the veins in there. And as we go forward here, you'll see um, all through the year for me, <laughs> I can see that some are always a half an inch or an inch tall. It seems like new ones are always coming up all through the spring and summer for me. So this stalk here is from last year. I leave all the old stalks up. The plant doesn't use them anymore, but I know that pollinators do. They use them for nesting sites. Um, birds can use them for nesting material. So I leave them up. I know a lot of insects use them. And I want to support those insects. So still mid-May for me, late spring, um, about a week from the last videos. And here I have written down that there may be four inches tall. I mean, again, clearly some of them are only half an inch tall there. But um, the tallest ones are maybe four or five inches tall at this point. Somewhere in here, and I will point out when I see it next, I have um, an Asclepius exaltata, I believe. Uh, it's called, it's a poke milkweed. So I grow poke milkweed in here with my mist flower. There it is. I just saw it go by. So the one plant in here that's like much taller and doesn't look anything like these ones, that's the poke milkweed. Ignore that. And you could see some more old stalks from last year. And little half-inch babies here on the floor. <laughs> on the floor, on the ground, really close, and then the taller ones. And now you can see some of these already have holes in them, the leaves, and that is thumbs up. That's that's awesome sauce. Uh, that means already insects are munching on them, and we, we want that. Hopefully um, caterpillars have been eating these. So mist flower is the host plant for a number of caterpillars, um, moths and butterfly species, and what that means is that those caterpillars will eat the leaves, and then they will... 
go into their little co- cocoon and become the moths and butterflies that we love to see floating around. So it's good when you see holes in your leaves. And so now um, we're at late May, late spring still. We just passed by that poke milkweed again on the right side of your screen. Ignore that. Um, and so these are anywhere from two to nine inches tall at this point. So we're about 20 days from the very first video you saw. So in 20 days, so pretty much three weeks, we've gone from half an inch to some of these are nine inches tall um, back there. And you, you can really see the leaf texture now, right? And for this last clip here, we're now in early summer, early June. Um, that green stake is next to the poke milkweed. So that again, ignore that. All the other things are the mist flower. And they're getting quite tall now, right? I mean, some of these are easily a foot tall at this point. So maybe a month and a week, give or take, from the very first video. And they're, they're this tall and looking, looking good and already getting eaten by caterpillars. Uh, again, I just can't emphasize how good that is. <laughs> it's so good. We need to feed the caterpillars so we can get the pretty butterflies and moths floating around. That's what we like to see. And the mist flower, um, when they fill in, and this particular patch fills in really nicely, the old stalks from last year, you can not even see them when it all fills in. So it's not even, it's not even an eyesore. It's no problem keeping all the old stalks up. Some bees make nests inside those stalks. So that's good. Okay. So that's it. You now have seen what mist flower, uh, I'm going to say that scientific name again, Coneclinium coelestinum. It's a tough one. Um, but you now know what mist flower looks like, an established patch of mist flower coming up in the springtime. Plant native, my misty lovelies. <laughs>